Hey everybody. Today we're going to be installing NixOS. So NixOS is a custom based system that uh, it's independently based I believe. They have their own uh, app store and everything. So we have the uh, installer open so let's go ahead and uh, go through it. Location set to Los Angeles. That's correct. Keyboard English default. Set up a uh, user info. Set it to log in automatically. Use the same password for the administrator account. All right. We're good with that desktop that I'm going to use. We have GNOME, Plasma, XFCE, Pantheon, Cinnamon, Mate, Enlightenment, LXQT, Budgie, DeepN, or no desktop. Uh, so what should I choose? I haven't done the Pantheon. Well, I have, but Enlightenment. Should I try it now? Enlightenment looks too complicated. Well, it's not complicated, but it's uh, it's just Pantheon is the same one that's used by uh, I think it's Elementary, and let me see Budgie. Ah, it's been a while since I used Budgie. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one. Click next. NixOS is fully open source, but it also provides software packages with unfree license. By default, unfree packages are not allowed, but you can enable it here if you check this box. Software installed might have additional end user license agreement attached. If not enabled, some hardware might not work fully when not suitable. Allow unfree software. And we're just going to go with the swap it. No. I don't know what's the difference between with hibernate or no hibernate, so just gonna leave it at that. Do a final checkup before we click install. Install. All right, and it's off to the races. So while it's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, and I'll come back once it's installed. All right, installation is not completed, so we're going to go ahead and restart the system and take a look at NixOS. All right, we're booted into back into the system, so one of the first things I need to do is uh, fix the display settings. So let's do a search for display. Displays comes up. Apply it, and we're good. All right, now we got a proper 1080p setup, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the system. We have the panel on the bottom, and in the system tray, we have, uh, I think this is a, yeah, a message center. It has a calendar, and uh yeah, any uh, alerts or anything like that that would show up here also. It's supposed to open up the system time and date settings. And then next to that, we have a volume rocker. So volume up, down, and you can also get into the volume settings. As you can see there. And yeah, see, it moves every time that I talk, so it's actually picking up the voice from my microphone. Nice. And we have our notification settings. Nothing to see there, so put them back. And then I believe this is our network connection. So if we had uh, Wi-Fi adapters or anything like that set up, you would find it there. 
All right, and then pinned to the panel over here, we have this is VOC, and it is. And VOC running version 3.0.20. And next to that, we have Firefox. And see what version of Firefox we have. Firefox 120.0.1. And let's do a search for Nix OS. And this is the website for Nix OS. I uh, have information here like reproducible, declarative, reliable, pretty much explains everything you can do with NixOS. And NixOS has its own uh, package manager. So uh, it has a large list, as you can see right here, over 80,000 packages for the Nix package manager. And a good thing about Nix, the, their package manager, you can actually install it on any Linux system and use their package manager. So it's uh, you can actually turn them boot to into a pretty strong system with the latest software using the Nix package manager. All right, that's Firefox. And next to that, we have our uh, file manager. Let's see what file manager we're using on Nix OS. Nemo. Nemo is your file manager, 5.8.5. Same package manager that you find in Cinnamon. Then our app launcher is a uh, pretty standard app launcher. It looks like XFCE, but it's a uh, uh, what? What is this? The Budgie? Yeah, it's the Budgie. Uh, it's the Budgie desktop, so uh, it has its own uh, its own customized uh, panels and layers and everything. So see right here, you can view all the software. You can look at the accessories graphics, internet, office, sound, and system. So let's see if we can uh, get into the, uh, to the software manager, just so we can take a look at that. Let me do a search. Okay, it's not finding software. That was weird. <laughs> so we have an XOS manual. Let's see what that tells us. Nix OS. Nix OS search packages. All right. So let's say I wanted to get LibreOffice. Do a search. LibreOffice Fresh. Nix OS configuration. Ah. Let's see if that works. Now installing LibreOffice. Building. Okay, so I'm assuming it's installed now. I'm still not seeing it. Are we gonna have to reboot the system? Let's try a quick uh, reboot, see what happens. Right, we are rebooted. Let's take a look at Office. There we go. So yeah, basically uh, their software manager is uh, it's a terminal-based software, uh, software manager, but uh, like I said, it's comparable to the AUR, and you can pretty much download anything. So let's see, LibreOffice 7.6.2.1, yep, new and improved. We did GIMP, let's take a look at that, 2.10. Yep, and it works like normal. There you go. Yep, 2.10.36. The latest stable version. 
Uh, now let's look to see what uh, type of theming we could do on here. So let's take a look at system tools. I believe it's in the control center. Let's see. I see we have backgrounds here. So we can change our backgrounds. Single click. Not bad. Pretty nice uh, amount of uh, wallpapers you have on here. But then again, like any other system, you could just uh, download any folder you want off the internet and just set it up as a wallpaper. It works just as fine. But now let's see. I want to look at some uh, themes. Would it be color? No, that's not it. Huh. Let's get out of here and get back to the system tools. And maybe it's in the desktop settings. Yep, that seems to be it. The file manager. Click down. Let's see style widgets. It's on Uger. Is that what it is? Set it to Uger Dark. Uger Light. Huh, not an Uger, huh? Alright, so we'll just stick to Uber dark icons are Uber, but you have a bunch of Uber and then high color cursor. Looks like everything's set to Uber. So yeah, that's pretty much what your theming does. You can always download more shell themes and uh, install them. But uh, at least this is what your system comes with. All right, not too bad. Well, this was a uh, Nix OS, so if it's something you're interested in, I have all the information down in the video description. So that's going to do it for me. I'm out.